I'm honored actually to be involved in this whole process, be a part of the team member, and it's important to get contributions from all members of former students here at, from Bronco Nation. It's important that we capture tradition that's representative throughout the decades of those people that have attended this school. So one of the things that we set out with this committee was to ensure that we can set up a brand that will, that will be used by everybody going forward to develop some type of consistency. We sat down as a committee and we, and we voted on in the planning committee as well as the branding committee and we involved all stakeholders in to determine what was important and how we should go back, go about remembering those things. The biggest thing about the branding committee was making sure that all of the history, all of the artifacts, all of the story from DHS was represented in this new building. We have one chance to do it right, and I think we have. Central to the research process was developing the timeline for the district. There are myths, there are legends, uh, all kinds of history with a school that's been here for 134 years. As the timeline came to fruition, being able to then go through and look at, okay, what are the key points of this timeline that are really gonna help tell the story in the new building? And especially the kids. The kids knew some of the history of DHS, they didn't know that it was a, a school that started in the 1880s. And then of course, the integration of, of Denton schools in the late 60s. This gave the committee a focal point for attaching value to certain artifacts and knowing, okay, this is an artifact that we're, we know we have to have on display and we need to design that display appropriately. I, I was really surprised, especially the historical part of the integration of the schools, because you hear so many negative stories and horrible stories, how it was a very difficult and turbulent time. And when we dove into that for Den High and how smooth that transition it was. Well, with the behavioral analysis, some of the things that we do here that current like traditions that are not necessarily artifacts such as the senior walk, we have the handprints, we have the, all, all the programs. Once they are returning to campus, they sing the school song to honor the school. So we went about and researched those things, took pictures, talked about them, and we decided that all those things should be incorporated into the new campus as well to continue those traditions. This process was very interesting to get to see the, um, the current uh, crest and graphics that we have now and to really take in consideration of our students um, and really update it to, to, to bring out what they represent of Denton High School. In the beginning stages, a lot of it was going back and looking at the current practices that we have at DHS. We had several different logos out there that we were using. The D with the Bronco, very iconic. But then we realized after several meetings, we actually had seven of those in existence. Uh, and that was something that needed to be standardized. Uh, the timing works wonderful with the new building because it's a, a new, fresh logo that can be used by everyone. So I like how each, the committee has different sides. We have the students, we have teachers, we have alumni. I'm excited that the students that are behind me get to go, will get to experience the new high school. Coming back as an alumni and seeing what it, like, I was a part of to help create, it'll, I think it'll, it'll be really cool to see like, what, what we left behind. Sometimes it's hard to realize for us as students to realize that we are the legacy, we are the icon of Denton. We want all Denton High School students to leave a legacy, leave a tradition, and my way is helping with the new school. It's going to make them feel like they're a part of something bigger. 
part of Denton, not just the school, but part of the history of Denton. I think that was very encouraging for them. Branding's not just about changing the logos, it's about the entire history and story of the school and what the story of DHS is going to be when people walk in the front door and they're able to see in the large rotunda, see the uh, alma mater in the rotunda, see the Bronco from the floor here at the campus of Fulton Street. DHS has been in this building for 65 years. How do we transmit that story from this campus to a new facility? And I think we've done a fantastic job. In the end, I truly thought that this journey came to a nice conclusion of everybody that had a part in this process really felt that we were heard. I just really want to take the opportunity to thank VLK and everybody that was involved, allowing our administrators, our, our community, our staff, parents, alumni to be a part of this journey. It's not every day that you get the opportunity to be a part of helping build something that is so valuable to Denton.